Hello there, I'm Steven and I'm going to be walking you through how to set up PayStack on your WooCommerce enable site. Now to set up PayStack for WooCommerce, the first thing you need to do is to install the WooCommerce plugin. So uh, I'm going to go to my WordPress dashboard, go to plugins and go to add new to install the WooCommerce plugin. Uh, once you're on the add plugins page, just search for WooCommerce and it'll be the first option that comes up. Now I've already installed the WooCommerce um, plugin and I've activated it. So now let's move to the next step, which is installing Paystack for WooCommerce. So search for Paystack WooCommerce, and this will be the first option that comes up: Paystack WooCommerce Payment Gateway by Tumbo Sonaila. So click Install now, and as soon as it's done installing, I'll go ahead and click Activate. So we'll click Activate. This will redirect us to the plugins page where all our plugins, um, in all, our, all our installed plugins are listed. So go ahead and go to the settings page so we can configure this plugin to start in a, uh, accepting payments. Um, now, uh, the requirement for using this plugin is you have to have your test, um, secret, your secret key and your public key. Now, your, your test keys, the test secret key and test public keys are when you want to test how a payment works. So this will allow you to make a payment but without real money to simulate the whole process. While a live secret key and live public key are when you have already had everything figured out and you already start accepting payments from your customers. Now to get your test keys, you need to go to your Paystack dashboard, sign in, go to settings. So let's, let's start this from the top. So go to settings, then go to API keys and webhooks. So go ahead and copy your test secret key, which you'll come and paste on your settings and your test public key, which you'll come and paste on your test public key settings. Now ensure that your, your, your secret key is in the secret key field and the public key is in the public key field. Secret key starts with SK and public key starts with PK. Um, if your business is already live, your public uh, your live keys will show on this page as well which you then copy and paste in these fields below now make sure that um this enable test mode is clicked when you want to test payments and if you if it's clicked that means your test key and your your test secret key and test public key have to be filled in even though you'd have an error when you're ready to start accepting payments you put in your test um your live secret key and your live public key and then you untick this option. So now we are testing payments, we're in test mode, we have our test secret key and our test public key. So let's save changes and then test the payment. So um, I'm here on, on my store. I have items and cards that I need to remove. Okay, so let's add this v-neck t-shirts to cards and this regular t-shirt to cart. And then let's go and view cart. Awesome. So we have our four items in cart. Let's check out. Now we're on the checkout page. You're going to see the pay stack option, pay by debit slash credit cards. So click place order. And then click pay now. Pay stack would then pop up here. So you see because we're in test mode, it's telling you that this is a test page and it's giving a test card to test with. So paste in the details 02204048. Um this can be any date that's in the future. And then click pay. Payment successful. And it will redirect us to the success message for this website. Now, let me do a quick run through of the settings for Paystack. Now, enable Paystack has to be has to, has to be clicked. If it's not clicked, um, you will not see Paystack as one of the payment options. The title is whatever you want to name your payment option. If you feel um, you have a more descriptive title, you can put it here. Make payments via card. For example, um, the description is not generally used um, for some themes, but for some themes, it's going to um, put this under. And then uh, enable test mode is when I've 
explained earlier. Now, for the payment page, there are two options. There's inline, which is the one that we just tried with, where the payment pops up. Then there's inline embed, where the payment form is embed within the page of the site. So we're going to test that next. Um, then enable payments via save cards is when a user uses their card. If you enable payments via save cards, they can come back and pay with that card without having to fill in the details all over again. Um, they of course need to be signed in to be able to use this. Then um, and custom metadata is um, information you want to show on the receipts and on the transaction of uh, for that customer. So for example, now the earlier payment we made, if we come here, we're going to see it here, 1,123.00. Decide to look on your PayStack dashboard. You see, this these are the only details shown. But once we enable, you know, custom metadata, anything we tick here is also going to show on the receipt. So let me remove billing address, for example. Or well, let me put a billing address, remove shipping address, and let's put products purchased. So let's save this, and then let's test the payment. So uh, let's go back to our home page and add some more items to cart and checkout. So add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. Now let's go and check out. So now this has changed to make payments by a card and this is a description as is shown in our settings. Now click place order. Now this the payment form is going to show right here instead of um, popping up as in the previous case. And when is this is live, this red banner will not show. So um, there will be no obstruction here. So your customers will be safe. Will be safe. So let's go for zero eight for zero eight. This is the test card details. I've been memorized. You don't have to memorize it. It's on our documentation. So click pay now. Payment successful. Now, if we go to the this is one oh five six. This payment costs 1056 naira. If we go to the dashboard now and we check this transaction, you see the transaction has more details. So when you have details that you want to be able to track right from your Paystack dashboard, this makes it possible. And this is how to set up Paystack on your WooCommerce enable site. Thank you.